Welcome back, it is Thursday and that means acting analysis for animators and this is part three and the final part of Stranger Things. That's right, this is my last part about Stranger Things season three, so why waste time? Let's check it out. Right off the bat, I'm gonna start with props and environments. You know, you know how much I love this and why do I show you this? Because this is interesting. Imagine this could be your assignment, getting out of a chair. Well, the chair happens to be in a car. So you got that type of thing of a heavy character leaning back, that's interesting already. They have to, they, I mean, whoever is your character, is holding props, it makes it different, like the getting out of it is different than Hamper because of this. He can't hold this, it just, it just makes it potentially more interesting for contrast and some complications of the character. And then as he gets up, he doesn't have to do this, but this, this seems to be a common thing, last time was a flashlight, but it puts that in his mouth and this could again change somehow the actions in your shot or just make it for a more interesting visual pantomime of doing a head turn or whatever they want to or whatever your character is going to do with this in his mouth. Next up is this, where this character comes back with some drinks. And what I like about this here is that usually you want to avoid some mirroring or twinning and all that stuff. But what I like about this here is actually the emphasis of them coming back. I like that, the kind of a casual cheers without looking. Them doing this now shows you that they're kind of, they're mirrors, they're on the same team. They understand each other. They know what's supposed to happen. They're just kind of teaming up. And I like that, that mirroring aspect of the posing and the timing really emphasizes that moment. I also like the expressions of drinking the alcohol there. So this is multiple things, right? Character interaction, prop handling, looking or not looking and looking, reactions to drinking something, and also the mirrored poses and kind of the exact timing of what they're doing here. Same thing here, you got that head turn, pretty in sync. And then again, that's in sync. So if you do want to mirror and twin things, you can think about it. Well, maybe I want to use this on purpose to emphasize that we are now on the same page. Next up is this, and you know that I'm a big fan of character introductions. So this could be something where, again, it's prop handling. This might not be the most interesting thing, but it's also something to learn. It's interaction with props, but just fingers. How to do this with potential IK hands or not, maybe even IK fingers if your rig has that. I mean, this is something complicated that I would recommend actually to practice, but it's a cool intro of this opening and then one character comes out and pause, and then the second character comes out. Now in this case, it's also the contrast in terms of height, contrast in terms of what they're wearing here. I mean, your character could be, this could be a human and then a creature comes out or an alien or whatever it is, but you can use this to your advantage to show one thing where it's one you know character trait and funny animation, and then that little extra thing at the end for extra humor or sort of drama, whatever you want to do. But I thought this was a cool way of introducing a character, again, based on an environment. And this is why I keep recommending to put your characters in an environment instead of an empty scene. Speaking of prop, you have her that uses this. I'm gonna show you this just to show you what that means. Like this is something that's dangerous and he's afraid of this. And we've shown this now that this is something he doesn't like. Now, as you continue here, if your shot is something like this, watch his reaction. Now he says something like, put this away from my face, but imagine your line does not acknowledge this. Your character does not say, don't put it in front of my face or whatever the line would be that addresses this directly. This to me is still an interesting moment of you can do your lip sync and then the character could hold whatever it is. This could be a fishing rod with some stinky fish or some dead animal for a trap or whatever you want to do. And then your character can react to this while not really changing the lip sync. So one of the things that I always recommend is that if you have your lip sync, what could you do to change your shot, to make it more original? So this could be whatever regular line, but because your second character has this, it can add an opportunity to your character, to this character, to change their acting, to change something where the lip sync just happens to be there and they're still delivering their line, but this is something a bit more interesting, a bit more entertaining than it was before. Now, switching gears to cameras, and of course we are on part three as the spoilers, but don't forget if you have a character that goes at say, in this case, screen left, and you want to surprise, you want to make sure that the character, the creature, whatever it is, is leading the frame. So you wouldn't want your creature here. Usually if a character is here, looking right to left and talking, you want some room here, some headspace, so there's a bit more comfortable room and makes it also more comfortable for the audience. And in this case, you don't want to do that. You want to cut this a bit shorter so that your foot comes in 
as a surprise. Just kind of throwing it out there. If you do have a creature, maybe this is your creature shop, and maybe this is what you want to do. Maybe you have a weird looking creature and you want to add an end button where the creature gets stomped on or not, or maybe something else falls down, or maybe a big piece of meat and that creature, oh, finally I can eat. Whatever you want to do, if there is a surprise, make sure that your character leads the camera so that surprise is a bit more effective. Because again, if your character would be as pretend here, it would take a lot longer for that foot to come in and it would ruin the surprise. Going back to timing, I love how this character stops and exits. So like they talk, right? You got the normal scene here, they say something, and I love this here. Waits, and that quick turn, it's so good. I love that timing change. Slow, wait, pew, quick exit. It's something small, but you know, all that stuff to me just adds to the comedy. It's just a great, great sense of timing there, of holding that and doing a quick exit. Might just be me, but I love this. Going back to camera and character introduction, but also kind of using the space of a scene to show off multiple things. So in this case, you can show off full body of whatever it is, right? A creature, a robot, a human, multiple humans, whatever it is, but you have a good view of the whole thing. And then as the camera goes down and tilts down, could we be on a dolly or on a track or a crane, whatever it is, right? Not on track, but on the crane going down. Now you can reveal the close up of characters who are reacting to this, right? So this could also be, I don't know, maybe there are two characters that are walking, saying something, and as the camera goes down, it reels people that are hiding and they're laughing and giggling because they're listening to whatever this conversation is. Again, you can change this to whatever you want to do, but it's like the idea of combining two things where you have a full body view and then into a more close up, so you can show off multiple things, right? Full body and more close up stuff. Same idea here, and you've seen this example now in this show multiple times now that you have a prop, be it a door, there have been multiple doors that are mentioned in this show. At first you have a hand, and then you have more, and it reveals the full character. And this could be, again, this could be an interesting exercise of, well, a character has to stand up, right? So frequently in, in, in school exercise, you have a sit down, you have a stand up. And if you wanna make this a bit more complex, you wanna make this a bit more difficult, well, the stand up assignment could be exaggerated into this. You have this, where you show off you know, all the complexities of someone crawling, being in pain. I don't know if you have to close this door, but you know, gets up here. I mean, I guess he has to close it to hold on to this. But again, this is technically still the exercise of standing up. But you can use the car to help you do this. You can just make this much more dramatic instead of just an exercise. If you have the opportunity or your teacher tells you it's okay to exaggerate this and not just have a simple, you know, character sitting and standing up, whatever the exercise is. Boom, that is it. Part three of Stranger Things season three. I hope you've watched this show, otherwise, spoilers, with all the stuff that I've shown in part one, two, and three. As always, if you have other things you saw in the show and you wanna comment on this, comments are open. I would love to know what you thought about the show. Maybe this is just me, maybe the things that I'm showing is just me, but maybe you wanna point some other scenes out that were awesome to you. Let me know in the comments, comments are open. And that's it, there you go, I'm gonna say goodbye. And if you like this, like and subscribe, you know the whole thing. If you wanna subscribe, it's totally up to you. Hit that bell button though if you wanna get all notifications because I do upload almost every day. If you're still watching this, you know that I appreciate this. This is valuable time out of your life. And if you feel like anything I said now is interesting and valuable, and you wanna put that into your shots, you know that I have workshops, maybe you don't know me, that's why I'm saying it. I have workshops, link in the description. If you wanna sign up and we can talk about that stuff for your shots, I can help you get your shots to the next level if you want to. So if you wanna sign up, again, link in the description with all the information. And that is it. I will see you next week with another movie.